What's up there, Tiki Barber? All's good, man. We talked all yesterday about Nestor Cortez and this amazing start that he's having. He's pitching a 1-3-5 ERA. He's, he's leading the team in strikeouts. I think he's fourth or fifth in the American League in strikeouts. Having a great start. And yesterday, a bunch of tweets resurfaced from his uh, teenage years where he was using inappropriate language, the N-word, and all these things that get brought out by a non-fan of the Yankees to create distractions and to... Uh, shine a light, at least attempt to shine a light on who he thinks Nestor Cortez actually is. And I got to tell you, Nestor Cortez handled this the right way. Um, This is a bigger story, but he handled it the right way because he addressed it right away. He deleted his account, came out and said, look, I'm going to do some things that, um, you know, know, come back and start preaching positivity like he always does. But the first thing that that I thought about when when I heard this was two things. One, Nessa Cortez needs to address it. Number two, his next start better be one of his best starts that he's had. Because in sports, we've seen this often. Ultimately, down the line, if you're a good player, it doesn't this this won't matter. But the best way to move forward from this is to replace it with a positive story. And this is, I don't want to say it's pressure on Nestor Cortez, but I think his next start might be one of the most pressure filled that he has. So far this season, he comes out, he looks in control, he has, he has command, he's undistracted, he, mm-hmm. is, he is dialed in. Uh, because, uh, because of this, his next start is going to have to be his most important one. Even if on, in the long term it doesn't feel that way, in the short term, the way to get rid of bad news is to replace it with something good. He was 16, 17, 16 years old, right? Yep. Uh, 16 and 17, I believe, yep. as you said. All right, so think about... Of course, this doesn't apply to my partner, who was a saint growing <laughs> up. But I'm pretty sure that just about everybody else listening to the show can relate to this. I mean, I can construct a short list of dumb things I did when I was 16, literally in 10 seconds. Sneaking beers. Borrowing my dad's car. Graffitiing. Actually, I was a little bit younger when yeah. I was doing the spray paint. Um, even taking a car service and jumping out of the car service without paying and running into a park. I mean, these are the kind of things you did in public. Dumb here, things. Here, I get it. Here's the thing. Some of those things that you were talking about are actually illegal. No, right? I know. I know. Well, <laughs> right? I mean, what's that? I mean, but, but, implicate but, me. Not but, me. Come but on, here's buddy. My, but just... here's my point. They're actually illegal, BD. I know. What, Nest, what Nestor Cortez <laughs> is... is you know, wrote on a Twitter account is not illegal. I, I understand but that, it, but and it, it's not the perfect equivocation. I'm but, not trying but to it equivocate matter. the two. But it doesn't matter. Your point is 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 valid, and I hear it. But to for some people to feel like they want to cancel him because of something he did, it's not illegal. Ugh. And was however many years ago, 10, a decade ago, more. He's 27 years old, I think. Yes. Uh, a, a decade ago when he was a kid and immature, is it makes no sense um, to 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 full, fully come down hard on him to put him. I mean, he's a front page story today, in the, in the or the back pages of the papers here. And I, I get it; he earned that. But at the same time, we got to check ourselves about what we're getting our ire up about as it pertains to some of our athletes who all of a sudden have become famous. There are tons of kids who did said and and put out worse than this. But once you become famous. All of that comes to the forefront. It becomes relevant all of a sudden for some reason. And I I feel for Nestor Cortez, but I'm actually proud of Nestor Cortez because of how he addressed it. Some guys want to run from it, and you can't. Um, Be honest with you, teams, when they sign players, these kids, whatever, however old they are, they need to go through their social media accounts and wipe all this stuff so that it doesn't come up. Uh, the last thing you need right now for the Yankees, who are playing great, the best record in baseball, is to have a distraction that it's not based on any, anything baseball related. I agree, uh, Barbie. I agree with that, Teak. I think that you know you use the term cancel culture, and I I absolutely detest it. I loathe it. I abhor it. I can't stand it because what cancel culture does is it's actually counterproductive. Because instead of continuing with conversation, which might lead to some change, mm-hmm. uh, it just it 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 forces you know further division. Uh, it's polarizing, but not in a productive sense. I, I I can't stand it. Now, the one thing that needs to be said, and I know that Nestor Cortez is 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 not is not white. Yes, um, but 
and and we're past this expiration point, but there was a point it applied to Josh Allen. Uh, Josh Hader dealt with this. Dante DiVincenzo that's, dealt with this in Villanova. Correct. That's correct. There is, you know, if you are a, and I'm, this is coming from the white guy on the show, if you are a young, white, suburban kid right now, and you have not learned that you have zero license to tweet, to say, to put any of that stuff into the into the atmosphere, I don't know what kind of lesson you need to have dropped at your doorstep before you finally do. It is very real. It is very painful. You can't do it. So, And I think most kids know that now. But I do think there was a period kind of when Cortez was tweeting this stuff mm-hmm. and when Josh Allen was tweeting this stuff and – you know, it was. I don't want to say that it, it was. It was. It was. It was unclear because things that are racially insensitive and that hurt others, it should always be clear. But when you're 15, 16, it's not always clear. Yeah. And the world was evolving. Did the digital age was still picking up steam? Now you got to know. Yeah. Now there's no excuses. Well, it's also. It's. I don't want to say it's confusing, but if you grew up in, even if even if you didn't grow up around black kids, right and you listen, but you love their music, mm-hmm. right? You just, it's cool. It hits me, right? I, I feel it, right? I got the beat in me. I want to dance to it, right? It just, and, and you hear the use of this word. It almost sounds like a term of endearment, mm-hmm. right? And so when, when, you, when you then get into uh, society and you think of it not in the historical use of the word, where it was obviously very derogatory, and you th- and you hear it the way that blacks and others use it. It's all it, it almost want you want to have license to do it to say it because you're, you're it's like you're complimenting somebody, um, but it's it's just not that complicated. And as much as I hate that this is happening to Nestor Cortez, I'm actually glad that it's happening to a guy like Nestor Cortez mm-hmm. because he seems so aware and mature of how to handle it the right way. And it gives all of us, you know, not just the white kids, white parents, but the black parents uh, and any and really Hispanic, you know, different color parents, um, a teaching point on what you can and cannot do and in civilized society anymore. And Nestor handled this the right way. I think the Yankees handled this uh, the right way. And I'll fall back on this again. If he wants to make this go away immediately, go strike out 10, pitch seven innings, whoever. I think he's, he'll be up against Baltimore, I believe. And and make this – no, he probably won't. It might be White Sox. But, but make this go away from the news cycle. Um, and I think he took the right step already to do that. It will because there's – again, there's varying degrees of, of insensitivity or – Excuse me, or just a lack of awareness. I mean, there were some, you know, it, it, I don't even want to really pull Hater back into this, mm-hmm. but I, I thought there was a, you know, what Hater had, it was racist and homophobic, and it was just, it was ugly. Yeah. You know, whereas with Cortez, I can see why it's absolutely construed as painful and ugly, mm-hmm. but I, it's, uh, you know, it's, it, it's you say well, it's uh, different. Well, is well, it's it different? different. It's, Here's the thing. It though. is different. It's very I, different. I know it is. But I know context it is. will get lost. It, that, and that's the problem. The context will get lost. We know what bothers me, though. I can't stand when we go, I, what kind of human being are you to go on some chase to dig that deeply into somebody's social media account mm-hmm. to try to ruin their life. Yes. And think about that. Let, let's not mince the the objective of this person who found it. That's not to fully um, exonerate Cortez. That's not even the right word. But he wrote it, and he's taking ownership, as Tiki said. But, like, what possesses somebody to wake up and say, you know, today is the day that I'm going to try to ruin somebody's life. How miserable are you to actually want to do that. And on a greater scale, far more important, you know, and I'm not preaching it. We're going to get these calls, see what you guys have to say. It's coming up in a sec, I promise, 877-337-6666. If what you've heard so far from me and Teague you don't fully agree with, we'll certainly give you the form to, 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 to be heard, but I would throw this at you preemptively. What's more important? What somebody wrote to try to look cool when they were 15 or 16 or what they do when they're old enough to to actually 
have a positive influence on society. Yeah. What is more important? I, I mean, come on. I mean, clearly the latter is. It, in some ways, you know. But a I'll, lot of people I, don't even care I, about I agree, that. But I'll push back in some ways on, on, on a little bit of what you said about the guy who was searching for this. Okay. Because sometimes, not the case with Nestor, because I don't think Nestor has a malicious bone in his body. It just, it just doesn't feel it. I may be completely wrong. I don't know him at all. But I think sometimes these these guys who are searching for this 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 negative content and putting out there is to expose who someone actually is, right? They're trying to, oh, you guys are holding this guy on a pet, put him on a pedestal, mm-hmm. but this is who he actually is. He actually. But what was the, the impetus to go on that search? Where was I, the, where was I, the I, evidence I from, from Cortez? I don't know. That gave us I, the slightest I, indication I, that he was a bad person. I don't. That's I do, my point. I don't know. If there was intimations, if you're like, man, I'm hurt. I've heard this about this guy, or he kind of said this and it didn't sound right, and then you start digging. And that's different from seeing a guy who's projected all positivity and then go on the search that's a good point. despite everything being good about this I don't guy. Disagree. It's totally different. I don't disagree with you on this particular case, but I understand why people do it. Who was the, who was the pitcher for the Red Sox? Uh, it was, I mean, he was gross. Like what he was. Uh, I think he was an outfielder. Yeah, or outfielder. Yeah. Oh, that, I mean, that was that was that, that, that was, was vile. That was reprehensible. Exactly. And that was wow. And that's and that's dangerous. That's that is like, dangerous. Like that rhetoric is dangerous yep. for someone who's important and he's saying things. But he that, exposed it himself. I agree. I agree. But when you but with someone who has some notoriety is espousing that. Yes. That's dangerous. That's and, a given. And that needs to be exposed. Hundred percent. So I get it. And. So I'm I'm not defending this guy because it there is it seems like there was no purpose to expose Nestor Cortez's you know ten year old tweets mm-hmm. when he was a sixteen year old or a seventeen year old but I understand why some people do do that because it's you need to know you need to know who you're engage, who you're cheering for uh, who you're who you're you know bu- buying jerseys of enriching whatever yes. however you want to yeah, put no. it you need to know that yep. I think in this case, it's it's a skew of who Nestor actually is, but Nestor addressed it the right way, and it actually makes me feel good about him, even better about him. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. We talked about him yesterday just because he's pitching phenomenally, but now to, to dig into the evolved person that he's become, it, it makes you even happier to be a fan and root for him. Well, listen, here's what this also is. Now, the moral compass should always come from the home. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it doesn't always. You're right. Most of the time it does, but... It, it's not a perfect world. We know that. So now kids are in school right now. But, you know, if, if you're a parent and you have a rough time, you don't know how to broach these subjects. You don't know really you're not a great communicator. What, Whatever, whatever. Uh, and I'm not judging. I'm just saying that these are the facts of life. You know, use Nestor Cortez as an example. How damaging, even though he's, he's going to weather the storm for sure. Uh, but, you know, how one misstep, either, you know, visual or digitally or mm-hmm. verbally, can really alter somebody's life negatively. Use it as a teachable moment. All right, let's hear from you guys. 877-337-6666. Let's start. Kyle's in Bridgewater on the fan. What up, Kyle? How you doing today? Hey, what's happening, fellas? How Morning, Kyle. Hey. So so just two things on, uh, on Nestor. First of all, the, the man was born in Cuba. He, he grew up in Florida. His Spanish... Yeah, go ahead. Like, like, we, like we say the. There was, the, and and his tweets. It blows my mind that this is even an issue with him. There, there was nothing racist, mean. There was no hate behind it. That's just how people in his he. That's how they talk. Mm-hmm. You know, you can you can go to in any of the streets of New York and, and hear guys on the corner. That's how they talk. That's that's like the you know white guys calling each other bro or dude or whatever. Yeah, it's and just it, how they speak. The problem is and the historical be, connotation of the word. Yeah. It makes it I, I, it just I, makes it uncomfortable. I, I get it. I get it. Even so, if he's trying yeah, to say it in a fight. non-malicious way, right? It makes it. it makes people it. uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. I get it. Um, so, but on a positive note, BT, this is more towards you. Okay. Well, what more does this man have to do to be looked at as a real and genuine pitcher? I, I always hear guys, say, oh, you know, it's still a great story. You know, he's got to do this, he's got to do that. I mean, he's been good for a long time now. Yeah. I, I think he deserves a little more credit, and, mm-hmm. I, and I think he's a generally he's a, he's a good pitcher. Well, he's getting credit on this station. You know what I mean, Kyle? I, I can't talk to the other conversations. I can't speak to that, I should say. But, uh, listen, I do, th- and I know that this is, this is almost going to sound weird, but I think that you guys know where I'm coming from. Optically, he really doesn't 
look as if he should be as good as he's been. Yeah. He's small. You know, he's got this funky little mustache that probably yeah, was probably more prevalent in the 80s and the <laughs> 70s. I mean, it, you know, the turtle, the nickname, like it's just it, it doesn't match up with the physical characteristics of um, of some of the other modern stars who yeah. are bigger, stronger, etc. But he has been phenomenal. John's in Queens. What's happening, Johnny? You're on the fan. How morning, you doing, John? Hey, good morning, fellas. How are you doing today? We are good. What you got for us? So growing up in Queens, I'm going to defend Esther Cortez, right? So I'm I'm, I'm African American. I've had I have I have white friends. I have black friends. I have Spanish friends. I have a diverse group of friends, right? Yep. And growing up in South Jamaica, Queens, you know, Spanish, you know, it's it's like it's a known thing that amongst friends you can definitely use that word with the a at the end. There's no issues, right? Yeah. So. A 17-year-old Nestor Cortez shouldn't be, you know, shamed now for a term that he used 10 years ago, and it's probably a term that he probably still uses to this day with friends of that same ethnicity. So to, for, for someone to go and look at old tweets and try to bash this man because he's having an amazing, you know, start to his season, is just ridiculous to me. Yeah. It's something that, and again, it's rap lyrics, too. At the, he, didn't, he wasn't doing it in a negative way. He was quoting lyrics from, I don't know what song was exactly, but that's, that's how you talk in, in places that we, we, we grow up. John, right? I have so a question, John, I have a, John, I have a question for you. That's a very common sense approach. Uh, but I, have, I, have I want to kind of get, get away from Cortez for a moment. I want to throw this at you because it has happened with some other athletes, Josh Hader, et cetera. Mm -hmm. if, if, an old yep, tweets, yep. if an old tweet's uncovered, right, and it's not yes. necessarily a, a, lap, uh, a rap lyric, but it's more – a way of thinking, but that person is 16 or 17. I know you're going to receive that differently, but would you still give them a, would you still be open-minded enough to say, all right, that was a young mind that wrote that. That was a young mindset and you can't evolve and get better as a person. Would you still feel similarly or no? I still feel the same way. It doesn't matter what age, like mm -hmm. we, I, 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 I I work for, I'm in, I'm in banking, right? I, I have recruiting for a big bank, right? Yep. And to this day, I don't talk like that at work, but amongst friends, I talk like that. Yeah. And it's not an issue. I have Indian friends. I have Spanish friends. I have white friends. When you have, when you set a tone and you know that person, it's not an issue. So next of course, as I understand in America now, there's a lot of stuff that's going on. Yep. And, you know, some people that are not growing up in the neighborhoods that we grow up in New York City, Chicago, and these type of places don't, you know, Cal you know parts of California, they don't sure. understand how we talk to each other. It's not a negative thing. So I just want to okay. say he shouldn't yeah. feel bad. I, mean, I understand he's with the Yankees yep. and they're a polished organization and they got to do what they got to do. But, you know, it's just, it's just crazy to me that this is even a topic. I was listening to, you know, I was on Twitter yesterday and I see him t trending and I'm like, what is he trending for? And I'm looking at the tweets. He, that's again, if he said the ER, that's a different, that's different. But yeah. The word that he used, we, you know, we use that every single day. I mean, so it. thank you, thank you for the call, John. It's really, Thanks, this is, it's a really interesting debate on this word because we know how it was originally used. It was to keep blacks and and other minorities, brown people, in their place. Right? It's just you are subhuman. I'm not calling you a man. I'm calling you this. But over time, it's almost like black culture appropriated it and turned it to something positive, right? And made it... Tried to get the power back. You mean exactly. almost... Exactly. Yeah, took no, the I, power I hear back for, yep. the, for the word. Yep. And that's why you hear it in, in rap lyrics. That's why you hear it, you know, in, in colloquial conversation around around friends of, that are black and brown and, and other ethnicities, you know, obviously non-white. And it's... it's 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 I don't want to say it's confusing because it's, it's actually not. It's very clear. But I can see why it, it can get convoluted in people's minds.